Hello, welcome to Ekidel, we are a twin future civil and structural engineer. Today, I will be showing you a complete structural design for a hostel building or just say dormitory building here in Bota Structure Software. So by the end of this video training, you will be able to perform a full structural design as you can see it here. This is a, this is a dormitory building or a hostel building and it is 80 meter long by 35 meter wide so you can see and we have also attached the cat file to this um to to this building on this video description so that you can be able to follow up all the parts of this video and also this video shall be done in 10 parts so we are trying we are beginning right now for this video series to design for this structure okay so now let's begin right now for the full structural design of this building and then watch out for the next so right now on this part three as you can see that we have already done our beam insertion and then it's not time to now begin to insert our um slabs so to insert your slab right now in Buddha structure you have to click on the slab icon here or you have to go to this place right here and then click on this place slab and the label will appear once once you click on that icon and right now we have to insert our depth of slab which is in this case, I want to use 150 and then um, cover of concrete to be 20 for the slab. And I'll go here, which we say load, and then click on this place right now, dead load, which simply means finishing load and also partition load. So I want to use here my, my dead load to be 1.5. Um, now, on this place right now, which is called imposed load, I am designing for a hostel. Um, so I'm going to use, um, I'll right, right click here and you can see that series, we have a series of loads here. As you can see, we have a series of load. As you can see that we have bedroom in hotels and balcony and we also have general domestic use and we also have toilets, back on, um, kitchen areas and all that. As you can see, the office area and all that. So since this is um, a hostel, I will still use, and it is also used for, um, it's also used as a general domestic uh, area. So I'll just use here 1.5 for the, and, and also you can also see here bedrooms and dormitories. So dormitory is still using name as hostel. So I'll just click here right now and choose bedrooms and dormitories. And then I will now begin to um, in, in, and click on the panels where I want to input my slabs. So right now I'll begin to in, click on the panels right now to insert my slabs just now. And you'll be seeing, and as you can see, that our slabs is now being inserted. Now, if you miss um, other parts of this video, I will see that you can just um, follow up um, using the link down below, and you can see other parts of, of, of this video. Okay, so your idea right now is to insert slabs of, on, on all the panels, except the place where you have staircase and voids. Like this place right now is, is a void, so I'm not going to put a slab here. Okay, so I'll just input everywhere I have slab and insert slab on that area. So I'll, what I'll just do, all I'll be doing is to be clicking on the place where I want to input my slabs, which I'm just doing just now. In our last video, we did um, this, um, this we, we did on beam insertion, and this in this stage right now, we are about to insert, we are trying to insert slab and also insert story. And this building is a two-story building, as you all know. Okay, and then we go again. So if you have not watched um, the part one and the part two of this video, I will say you should check on the link down below and watch the part one and the part two of this video. Okay, so I'll just insert my slabs right now. And just be clicking and we have half slabs. Okay. Okay. So I'll wait for you to um, from complete on the ones which I've already clicked. And we are also moving to the next again right now. Okay, I'll move on to the next again. I'll just zoom out right now and then zoom in again. This building is very big, big building as you can see there right now. Um, zoom in again here, click here, click, 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 and click, and click here. And then click at this point here, here, and here. This place is a dining hall and the panel looks too big. So I will have to use a beam to break this panel into two because there, there, there is a rule in the design codes, which 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 um, which the British code specifies that the area of a bale or or the area of a panel where the slab will, will sit should not be more than 13 meter square area, and this is already 14 meter square area. But this is um, eight meters by 7.7 7.5 meters. 
and that is more than eight that, that's already more than 13 CPI area so uh, you, you have to obey what is um, said on the code that your area of a panel should not be more than 13 CPI area I've already explained to you guys what will happen if that um, if that if you don't obey that rules okay so I'll do again right now and then click on that and then I will still go again and insert my slab first here, 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 and here, and then here and here, and then I'll click here again. I'll just click in where I want to insert my 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 slabs, and the software will just be following me as I'm doing that. Okay, so let me just wait for it to finish up what I have done already. Let me let me wait for it to click out on the to insert slab on the panels which I have already clicked. And then let me just put on. I, I think we didn't click here, so I'll click here after it has done inserting this area, and I'll click on this place to insert this place just now. And then we now click back here, okay? So we move again to this other side again. So this other side now, we are missing slab here. I'll put slab, 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 and slab here. Now we, we are missing this place. We didn't put a beam here during the during the beam insertion so we want to insert a beam here before we can insert our slab here so i'll go back here and click on beam here and then come here just now and then click on this place click here and then click here okay and then go back here on this slab here and then click on this place here and then insert my um slab here right now okay and then i will now go over to this place where we will have these bigger panels which is the dining hall area and then click on beam to break the to break this panel so i'll have to break this panel into two this panel and then click on the beam here now since this beam is um, very long this is almost 700 meters and i don't want to put a column on this place because else it will, else it will make the column to be visible in the in in this building so i'll have to increase the depth of this beam to 600 600 because the beam length is already 7.7 .7 meters so i'll click on update and automatically right now you will see that the beam depth will, will change from 450 to 600 as you can see it just now you can see there 600 while the rest beam is still left at 450 okay i'll do the same thing here just now and then also divide this panel into two click in here and then click in here also Okay, I'll also do the same thing again. This panel still, these two panels still looks too big. I'll still divide again these panels again by dividing um, here, from here to here, and from here to here. Okay, and from here to here. Okay, that's nice. And then I will still go again by um, releasing also to, ins to insert my by my my beam again to this place again by clicking here to here sorry here and then from here again to here okay that's nice and I'll now go and click on escape then I'm going to start slab on this very area so I'll escape first and then go and click on slab icon here this is the slab icon or you can also get that slab icon on this place here okay and then we will now have to um, check again if we are still having the slab properties which I have already done. Okay, that's nice. So go and now insert slab at this very place right now. So you can see how I broke this panel into um, four equal panels. You can see there. So this is very nice to, to do if your panels is um, too way big. It's too big. You have to divide the panel using internal beams. Okay, so right now we have done inserting our slabs. Always leave the staircase area as void. Don't put slab there because it is left as void. Later, we will use other software called Casey Soft to now design the staircase and also detail the staircase. I will also I have also dropped the link for, for that software down on this video description so that you can also download that and get that, which is not free, but I see that it's very, very um, um, good because you can also check most of our videos which have done that already. Okay, so right now you can now see that we have done it in our slabs right now. If we check on our 3D view right now, you can see also see that we have done that um, slab insertion just now. And then do this right now, 3D view. So you can see that we have done our slab insertion. As you can see it, this is this void is for courtyard. This is left as void as courtyard. 
and this other void too is, is a courtyard and also here is a courtyard and this other voids here are for staircase as you can see there so right now when i move you cannot see that this building is very very long and massive you can see that so when i'm moving just now to the next stage um plan view okay plan view now and then we will now move into um at this place right now this place I want to um okay this place is good okay and then i'll move in again to this place again just now i'm moving to this let me see again okay okay that's nice okay so i'll now move into this place here now so right now i'll now go and insert story since i've already done um inserting our slab so I'll have to insert story. So to insert story right now in building in portal structure, you have to click on this place called um um you you will see this place here, this building set this building setup tab, and then you will see insert story. So you have to click on insert story. It will tend to save what you have already done. So right now we this is a two-story building. So first of all, I'll have to insert um the fed the first story. So I'll have to insert the next story first, which is two. And I'll click on OK and then say update, continue. And uh, automatically right now, we now have story one and two, as you can see there right now. So I'll wait again right now, just now, and then click on this place to it one right now. And when I click on story one, I want to copy the beams and slab from this story onto this story, which is still empty, as you can see. So right now, now uh, copy the beams and, and the columns from what you have on story one to story two. You just go back to story one and make it active and then go to this place right now and then you will see this place called generate story so i'll click on this place right now and the story one right now is our source story and story two is our, is our target story so we want to copy the slab and beams and columns from story one onto story two so i'll click on story one right now and click on story two here and then click on what they call okay here so on this okay just now one it has been okayed and you wait for it to show here completed once here is mission completed that means that it has copied all what we have on story one onto story two successfully so until you see here show process completed you don't have to um, click on close or cancel and when it's time once that shows it will show here to here will show on um, close not cancel any longer okay so let us hold on for that to finish up okay and then while we wait up and if you have missed the part one of this video and the part two of this video series i would say you should check on the link down below and watch that okay you cannot see that process completed and here has not changed from cancel to close so you cannot click on close right now and if we go to story two you can see that story two right now is not active and on our 3d view right now you cannot see that we have we don't have story one and two as you can see it here we now have story one as you can see it here we now have story one this is not the ground floor and this is not the first floor so this is this is a, this is a two story building so we we'll also go and um insert the next story which is the final story which is the story two so back to story um to the plan view right now and then we go again on the to insert story again we click on this place and then insert and click on this place called insert story and then type now story three because right now we have done one two so story three and then um, click on OK. Once that is done, I will now go again and click on Story 2 to copy what we have on Story 2 down to Story 3. But, but first of all, on this Story 2, there are some changes that, that, that is not the same with Story 1. And that changes is that on this area just now, let me just check on my 3D. Um, let, me, let me check on the card file of what I have. That's why you need this card file because without the card file you you won't be able to um just get what i'm what i'm doing right now so let me check on the card file just now so so on the card file which i just checked now which i showed you before you can check on the part one if you want to see what i've what what i'm doing just now so on the card file this area these columns are not included on this story um on this story too so i'm going to take off these columns on this story too just now so I'll take it off on this story too, just now. Right click, and then say just say delete. So I'll just click, just say delete here. And once it is been off right now, I have to now adjust this place, right? Because this beam right now will tend to show as can't leave us. And then so I'll just go here right now and remove these beams, and then um, try to model this area back just for this story 2, not story 1, because story 1 is okay. So that, that column that I've just moved now is, been term, is now terminating on the first floor slab. 
and it's not reaching this area so i will go here again and delete this and also delete this beam also so now model this area back so right now um i will now go over here and remove the slab here take off this slab just now so i remove this slab just now and then wait for it to finish up and then i will have to now um introduce my beam and that beam on this area just here so i'll go here and remove this beam first and um, remove this beam also here and then insert another new beam here immediately which will have a longer depth because the length of this beam now becomes longer so i'll have to insert a new beam which will have at least this depth of 200 so i'll put in here and then So then I'll have to change my slab in such one here. So I'll do the same thing from here to here. Okay, I didn't choose this because this would tend to be very, very long. So this is also this is this is far away stronger than going this way. So right now I can now go um all the way down to now and put this beam here, put it here, put it here, put it here, and then put it here. And then I'll have to remove this beam here first and insert a new one that will run from here to here. So I'll go first and remove this um this beam here. Sorry, I'll move this beam here first. Then insert a new beam back on this. I'll move this beam first on this place. And then insert a new beam on this other end here. So I'll click on beam right now and insert another new beam just now from here to here. It will, it will tend to show you a, a, a warning sign which just say no because if you say yes, it will break the beam at this point. So, which makes no meaning. So, I'll just do that. I'll go and insert a beam here. And then that means that this beam right now is now carrying this beam load. Okay, so right now, we will now go and insert our um, slab on this other side. Okay, so, let me, first of all, let me check the um, the length of this beam here. This beam is here, which is um, 7.4 meters. is okay. So, let me go and now insert my slab just now on this side. In and insert here again just now okay so we will now click on escape again and then go over to um this side so we let us go and check how this area looks on 3d view let me just show you how, how that column is being terminated on the ground floor on the on the first floor slab sorry so i will and take my 3d view right now and i'll show you guys how that place looks like so if i if i zoom out this place just now this very place here you can see um i think it's on this area let me see so this area this area so if you check it now you will see how it looks like let me just zoom in this area right now and then palm like this so you can see that this is this, this, this is the column that that really moves so the column is terminating at this very end so if the column comes out here it's going to disturb the person that was, that 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 would be on this place so you can see that the column is being terminated just now and see there just now so this is how the columns looks like okay so you can now see how it looks like and you can see the model of the top here you can see how it looks like so right now i'll back to my plan view on story two then now that we now have um so right now we will now have to go and generate um this story three to copy what we have on story two to story three so we we'll go because story two and story three look similar so i'll go here and say generate story and uh, sorry you have to click on the source story fair which is story switch the story two always click on source story which is story two story two is our source story so we have to go there and click on what we have there and then copy it down to story um tree so i'm just taking off right now sorry okay so I'll just go here again right now and click here. I can see click here right now and then click go to um sorry not here here and I go to story two immediately and once that shows up just now I'll now go and um, start story. So from here right now I can now go here and click on insert um generate story sorry generate story from source story two to target story three and then on this place right now we don't have slab on this area so i'll just uncheck all the slabs because right now i'm trying to create a roof beam so i'll just uncheck all the slabs and then say okay and say yes 
Okay, so right now, once it is done completed, you can see that it will just um, carry just the beam and column and the grid and just the beams and, beams and the column and not with the slab. Because right now, we are trying to create a roof beam and on the roof beam, this roof beam is done without um, a slab. It, it, it is not a slab roof. They are going to use, um, they are going to use a roofing sheet to um, roof this building. So, as you, as I already shown you on the CAD file, which is on the 3D view. Okay, so right now, go here and close on all close and then just close here. And you can see that this is now our um, roof, roof beam area. So if we check on the 3D view right now, you can see what we now have just got just now. So this is what we have got. Let me just zoom back and pan. So you can now see that what we have got just now, we are, this is our ground floor, this is our first floor, second floor, and this is the roof beam. So it's always nice to reduce your roof beam depth because right now we don't have slab here. So you have to subtract the, that slab width, that slab depth from the roof. Knowing that, knowing that, knowing that, our, that our roof is um, 450, so 450 subtracted from 150 will give us 300. So our roof beam depth now alone will be 300. So I will have to go and reduce my roof beam depth to at least 300. So right now, just go here, I'll click on this story tray right now, and then click on this place, beam by click, and then say beam summary, just on the on, on this on this um, story tree here so if, if you if you want to reduce any member for each of the stories you just go and click on the stories and find the member and then find the table so right now i want to reduce this depth to 300 since i've already removed the slab on this on, on this level so i'll say 300 right now okay i'm waiting for it to change all the roof beam depth from 50 to, to 300 millimeter so you will see that once it once it, once everything has changed you can see that the depth of your beam will just reduce automatically the, the the depth of your beam for the roof for the roof beams which is the last floor will reduce automatically and then we will now move on to nagan insert story and the story height because the, the story height for this place the height of the the the, the height of headroom for this ground floor will be different from the story two and story three so we will have to, I, will, I will show you also how to do that how to insert headroom the height of your headroom on that because right now the software gives a default headroom of three meter which is a standard for all buildings which is the minimum height for all buildings but in this case the 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 depth the height of the headroom for the story one is different from that of story two and story three okay so let me just let's just finish that let's just finish up in changing of this to um, 300 millimeter so we can now move to the next stage so if you find this video or, or, or all our videos very very useful i would say that you should share our channel and uh, recommend your friends to also um come and join our channel here on youtube to learn structural design and civil engineering designs and also if you have not subscribed to our channel i would say you should click on the subscribe button so you don't miss all our amazing coming videos on structural design and civil engineering design because by next year we will, we will be entering into road design and i will teach you basically on what to know about road design what what design is very very simple it's not that complex but a drawing so i'll teach you on that how to perform all that okay now well, this is taking time because it is very massive so we will just um wait for it to finish up like i said before this is a real life project that we are you, you are seeing us taking all this time else i would have just paused the video and then um pass pass um most of these stages and then just show you what you want to see but because here on ekidel we we mentor we teach people um based on real life um we use real life project to, to perform all our videos training here on ekidel and also there is something we call ekidel mentorship program or class we are with train people specially on 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 the um, on the design of such right elements and also within design so if you are interested i will say check on the link down below you will see a place where i will say join ekidel mentorship class so you can join our program and we will um, train you especially our training is at very top notch because we use a live screen we will have to share our screen with you physically and you will be seeing it anywhere you are in the world because we will be using um, a live screen sharing okay so you can now see that we have um, all the depth of the pin have reduced and we will just click on okay now if you want to know more about the academic class then we have also um shared a video of most of our um most of most of the people that we are also training so you can also go and watch the video and see how it looks like okay so right now we are now going back to plan view because you can see that we have reduced 
the date of the beam here. So right now we are going to insert wall loads on all the beams because this beam here, this beam carries a wall load and here also carries a wall load. So we are going to insert beams on the wall loads. So we'll just go here right now and click on this place here, plan view. Now on the plan view just now, we will now go over to um, story one first because story one carries um, carries a wall load. So go and click on story one and then if I will do that first, I always advise that you should save your drawing so that in case you have any issue of shutdown or um, the software misbehave, you will not lose you will not lose all the progress of what that you have already model or designed for. So just to right now and click on save. Have the culture of saving your drawings once you do, once you perform your design. Always save your drawings. So you cannot see what we have done, that we have moved from the very stage right now and then we have done our slabs. And on this part three, we have done the slab insertion and story insertion. Now we are moving into the next stage, which is to now insert our um, wall loads. So insert our wallet right now and also insert our um and also insert our um head room, the height of our head room right now so that will be on the part four of this video series so you can also follow up up to part four and if you have flaws up to this very stage i will say thank you so much and once this is done saving we are moving into part four to now insert story okay so let us hold on for that to finish up right now Okay, um, it's trying to save because this is very massive, it's trying to save, but it's always good to, um, when you have done your design very, very well, or you can pick up a very massive um, project and then practice. That, that is why we are leaving our, all our card files of what we have done for this, and we took permission from all our clients that we, sh that we, can, that, that we should use their card files, their, their, their bidding plans, and they gave us approval. And anyone that you didn't see the cat file, just as that of the F3 office bidding, we didn't have a cat file, cat file for that because the client didn't agree for us to um, expose the cat file online. Okay, so right now you can now see um, that we have done the modeling of this stage. So right now I'll go to, let me just go and show you how to change your 3D color because this, this default color that came with the software, I don't like it. So I, I always like to change my color. So on to, to change your color right now, you go to this place here, this icon here, which is layer and color settings and click on this place. I'll show you the best color which I like to use. That's why you can, that's why if you check all, all my videos, you will not see this color of the, um, this, this color in any of my 3D. I always like to change the color to my preferred choice of color. That's why here on Ekidel, we are very, very different. Okay, here on Ekidel, we are different in all YouTube channels on that, 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 that trains on structural designs. Okay, so right now I'm going to change my, um, my color hash color. I like to use um, deep red or deep magenta. I like to use this one here. I can use this here. I can use this one here and then click on OK. And then I'll go to my beams, my beams, my beam color. I'll change this um, light yellow here. So I like to use um, beam color to be um, deep green. Is deep green here and i'll click on okay and then on my share on my on my slab i like to use um sorry i like to use deep blue here this blue here i'll take, i can use none of this and take this one this okay and use this for me and then on my um on my partition walls which i'll be showing you on the part three i would like to i like to use gray deep gray here I'll click on OK and I will increase the this opacity for it to be visible to this very to at least to um one this is okay and I'll click on OK here. So you can see that everything here will change to the color which we have set automatically. You cannot see this is the color I like to use if you check most of my videos. I don't like to use the default one. You can see that this is now perfectly okay. Since the building is big, if your system have I don't have much graphics you 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 begin to see this kind of errors that is showing right now that that is can see it's not an error actually is because it's this system graphics is not that much so i'm trying to buy a very higher graphics for gaming system so that you can be able to um see um why i'm trying to rotate you won't be seeing this um all these slabs going off so you can see that you can see the, how it is right now this bit is very, very massive, very, very massive. So right now, we are trying to move on to the stage four right now, which we will now um, perform, um, show you how to insert wall load, and also, we will also show you how to insert the partition wall load and all that, and also insert our story, and then run the building, run this building, um, building analysis, 
which will be on the part four of this video series. So thank you so much and God bless you and what are the next.